What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? A. To save you money by preventing costly repairs. B. Safety for yourself and other road users. C. Federal and state laws require you to inspect your vehicle. D. To ensure that you will achieve the best gas mileage. When backing your vehicle, which of the following is not recommended? A. Back as slow as possible. B. Back towards the right side. C. Use the lowest reverse gear. D. Back and turn towards the driver's side. You are driving a 40-foot truck at 35 miles per hour. How much space should you keep in front of you? A. 3 seconds. B. 4 seconds. C. 5 seconds. D. 6 seconds. The act of operating a motor vehicle in a selfish, bold, or pushy manner, without regard for the rights or safety of others is known as A. Defensive driving B. Road rage C. Aggressive driving D. Distracted driving You should check your tires every or every when driving in very hot weather. A. 1 hour, 50 miles. B. 2 hours, 100 miles. C. 3 hours, 200 miles. D. 5 hours, 250 miles. Which of the following factors is not used to determine your safe speed when going down a long steep downgrade? A. Length and steepness of grade. B. Weather. C. Total weight of the vehicle and cargo. D. Time of day. Which of the following is not a basic step to be taken at a crash scene? A. Notify authorities. B. Care for the injured. C. Gather the contact information of all the drivers involved. D. Protect the area. Vehicle handling can become unsafe if the weight is not properly balanced. Hard steering can be caused by A. Too little weight on the driving axles. B. Too much weight on the steering axles. C. Underloaded front axles. D. High center of gravity. Which of the following would not be part of a standard vehicle inspection? A. Tire problems. B. Bad brake drums or shoes. C. Steering system defects. D. Seating defects. If you are stopped on an incline, how can you start moving without rolling back? A. Shift to neutral. B. Fully engage the clutch. C. Apply the parking brake. D. Aggressively pump the accelerator. Which of the following is not an important reason to look far ahead when you are driving? A. Look for vehicles coming into your lane. B. Look for vehicles coming into your lane. C. Look for brake lights from slowing vehicles. D. Determine if there are any upcoming traffic lights that might require you to stop.
You are driving a 60-foot truck at 55 miles per hour. How much space should you keep in front of you? A. 5 seconds. B. 6 seconds. C. 7 seconds. D. 8 seconds. Operating a motor vehicle with the intent of doing harm to others or physically assaulting a driver or their vehicle is known as A. Aggressive driving B. Defensive driving C. Road rage When driving in very hot temperatures, you should a. Check your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles. B. Let your tires cool down if they are too hot to touch. C. Ensure that you have enough antifreeze in the system. D. All of the above. Shifting into a lower gear and removing your foot off of the accelerator to slow your vehicle is known as a. Double clutching. B. Engine braking. C. Anti lock braking. D. Brake fade. You could experience steering problems because of friction between the tractor and trailer if you do not lubricate which of the following? A. Relay valves. B. Glad hands. C. Fifth wheel plate. D. Dead end couplers. Which of the following are possible causes of tire fires? A. Loose fuel connections or underinflated tires. B. Dual tires that touch and underinflated tires. C. Improperly loaded cargo and dual tires that touch. D. Poor cargo ventilation or short circuits. The average person requires how many hours of sleep per 24-hour period? A. 7 or 8. B. 8 or 9. C. 6 or 7. D. 5 or 6. If you are transporting cargo, you should inspect the cargo and securing devices. A. Within the first 50 miles of driving. B. Before the trip. C. During every driving break on the trip. D. Before the trip, within 50 miles after beginning the trip, and at least every 150 miles or 3 hours. Which of the following is not a part of the steering system? A. Main spring. B. Hydraulic fluid reservoir. C. Tie rod. D. Steering knuckle. When backing, what is the best method to use to avoid blind spots? A. Use mirrors on both sides. B. Back towards the driver's side, where you can see better. C. Look at your path. D. Use a helper. Which of the following is not an appropriate reason to flash your braking lights? A. To warn drivers behind you when you need to slow down. B. To alert drivers behind you that there are hazards ahead. C. To signal to tailgaters that they are too close to your vehicle. D. To warn vehicles approaching you from behind. You are driving a 50-foot truck at 38 miles per hour. How much space should you keep in front of you? A. 3 seconds. 
B. 6 seconds. C. 4 seconds. D. 5 seconds. Which of the following is not a recommended action to take when confronted by an aggressive driver? A. Ignore them and refuse to react to any of their gestures. B. Make eye contact and motion to them that you are calling the authorities. C. Make every attempt to get out of their way. D. Do not let your pride and ego affect your actions. When driving in very hot temperatures, you should A. Check your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles. B. Let your tires cool down if they are too hot to touch. C. Ensure that you have enough antifreeze in the system. D. All of the above. Shifting into a lower gear and removing your foot off of the accelerator to slow your vehicle is known as A. Double clutching B. Engine braking C. Anti-lock braking D. Brake fade Which of the following statements is false? A. You can almost always turn to miss an obstacle more quickly than you can stop. B. If a tire blows, you should put the brakes on hard to stop quickly. C. Anti-lock braking systems only activate when wheels are about to lock. Which of the following are possible causes of tire fires? A. Loose fuel connections or underinflated tires. B. Dual tires that touch and underinflated tires. C. Improperly loaded cargo and dual tires that touch. D. Poor cargo ventilation or short circuits. The average person requires how many hours of sleep per 24 hour period? A. 7 or 8. B. 8 or 9. C. 6 or 7. D. 5 or 6. Which of the following is not a required emergency equipment must you have? A. Fire extinguisher. B. Warning devices for parked vehicles. C. Glass braking device. D. Spare electrical fuses. Which of the following is a condition in which you should downshift? A. Before starting down a hill. B. Before accelerating. C. After starting down a hill. D. After starting up a hill. Can cause lack of braking power, wheel lockups, pulling to one side or the other, and jackknifing. A. Overheated tires. B. Bleeding tar. C. Wet brakes. D. Loose engine belts. Engine braking is most effective when A. RPMs are low and transmission gear is high. B. RPMs are high and transmission gear is low. C. RPMs are low and transmission gear is low. D. RPMs are high and transmission gear is high. If your brakes fail, which of the following is not a useful method to slow your vehicle? A. Pump the brakes. B. Put the vehicle in a higher gear. C. Use the parking brake. D. Use an escape ramp.
With an engine fire, you should do all of the following except A. Turn off the engine as soon as you can. B. Open the hood to allow air in. C. Shoot foam through the louvers, radiator, or the vehicle's underside. D. Pull off the road as soon as possible. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep is known as A. Sleep debt B. Insomnia C. Sleep apnea D. Microsleep Cargo such as dry bulk or hanging meat A. Require no special driving attention B. Have high centers of gravity and are unstable loads. C. Require special transit permits. D. Have low centers of gravity and can lean on curves. A fully loaded rig is times more likely to roll over in a crash than an empty rig. A. 5. B. 10. C. 15. D. 20. A trailer jackknife is likely to happen when A. The vehicle has a high center of gravity. B. The wheels of the trailer lock up. C. The front drive wheels lose traction. D. There is too much weight on the steering axles. What is the fastest and best way to recognize that your trailer has started to skid? A. Feeling your steering wheel shake. B. Listening for the distinctive skidding sound. C. Seeing it in your mirrors. D. Feeling your vehicle pull to the side. If your trailer begins to skid, you should A. Maintain light pressure on your brakes until the trailer straightens out. B. Release your brakes until the trailer wheels grip the road again. C. Turn the steering wheel in the direction of the skid. D. Apply to the trailer hand brake to straighten out the trailer. Which of the following will help prevent a rollover? A. Keep the cargo load centered on the rig. B. Drive slowly around turns. C. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible. D. All of the above. On older trailers, what will happen if the emergency and service airlines are crossed? A. Nothing will happen, they are designed to be interchangeable. B. The trailer spring brakes will release. C. Water and oil will build up in the air tanks. D. You could drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. If the trailer protection valve malfunctions, which of the following may occur? A. A leak or trailer breakaway could drain all the air from the brake system. B. Nothing will happen. C. The trailer air pressure will increase. D. The glad hands may uncouple. The trailer protection valve is designed to close automatically if the air pressure reaches the range of A. 0 to 9 psi B. 10 to 19 psi C. 20 to 45 psi D. 46 to 60 psi You should always test the trailer brakes before driving by. A. Using the hand valve. 
B. Pulling the air supply control. C. Using the foot brake. D. Options first and second. If you are parking a trailer without spring brakes, which of the following should you use? A. Wheel chocks. B. Parking brake. C. Emergency brake. D. Trailer hand brakes. The coupling device used to connect the service and emergency airlines from the truck to the trailer is known as A. Trailer air supply control. B. Relay valve. C. Glad hands. D. Cut out cocks.